right so now we have already learned Rolls Royce. Then I went into a concept where I said if the solute and the solvent, that is both the liquids are volatile. Then I went into a concept called ideal solutions and non-ideal solutions. So I already gave the differences. I also explained you. I've given you like certain examples for that. Now I said the ideal solutions are those which obey Rolls law. Yes, I've also listed out the conditions. And non-ideal solutions are those which do not means delta H uh, mixing as well as delta V mixing. Both are not equal to zero. Zero. that means either the higher value or the lower value so when it is showing the deviations that is it may be a positive deviation from the Raoult's law or it may be a negative deviation from Raoult's law let's see how to draw the graph now how is this given if they ask you graphical representation uh, of the this is an ideal solution uh, curve uh, where uh, you are plotting a graph between vapor pressure and mole fraction so you're, you're supposed to draw this suppose if they don't ask you this you can directly write if differences are asked you can write all the four differences and draw this graph also let's start so basically an ideal solution for plotting the ideal solution graph first important thing you're going to plot a graph between BW is between vapor pressure and mole fraction versus mole fraction. This is the most important thing. Everywhere it is the same. So you are going to take vapor pressure on y axis. This is your vapor pressure. You are going to take mole fraction on the x axis. Done? Yes. Now. This mole fraction you are proceeding. Suppose initially I said mole fraction, so x done. Initially, I have I said there are two components. I said what what are they? Component A and component B. Example benzene and toluene. I am taking benzene constant uh, mole fraction as xA done, <coughs> and your toluene concentration as xB. So I am proceeding towards xB, isn't it? So I'll write it as xB because I'm going towards that. Yes, done. So now initially when XA basically XA initially what happened the wave or the wave pressure exerted by the pure solvent of XA once again I said according to Raoult's law what is according to Raoult's law PA is equal to P naught A XA PB is equal to P naught B XB now what happened when the component xa is equal to 1 initially the vapor pressure exerted by this is p naught a so p xa the vapor pressure exerted by this is p naught a component xb the vapor pressure exerted by the pure solvent this is also pure solvent this is also pure solvent vapor pressure exerted by component b is p naught b now why am i writing above i am drawing it above because here you have both as volatile so that's why when you add volatile solvent the vapor pressure is increase isn't it the vapor pressure will increase if it is non-volatile it will reduce here both are volatile in nature so the vapor pressure is above this done so now what are you going to do you are going to just join this line like this done yes now <coughs> this xa and pa xb and pb if i have to write the total pressure this is complete isn't it p not uh, benzene and toluene if i have to write p total now this particular line this line is for xa which is equal to pa is equal to p not a xa now this line corresponds to xb pb is equal to p not b xb the total of this is already written look here this total and this total is written here yes so <coughs> because pa and pb is nothing but p not a plus xa that is what i have written so this is your ideal solution graph which obeys Raoult's law now the same thing suppose if i take i have given you positive negative deviations i said in non-ideal solutions they do not obey Raoult's law because you have a non-volatile solute in that and uh, because it uh, mixing and volume is different so you take get two types of variations on this graph how to draw whenever non-ideal solution positive deviation is given to you exactly copy this so exactly copying first draw this write vp here write mole fraction here and initially xa is equal to 1 xb will be 0 later on xa will become 0 because the concentration and xb will become 1 
simple isn't it yes now copy the same so what do i have i have a ideal gas curve ideal gas curve an ideal solution curve i'm just get, going into that ideal gas equation i'm sorry for that so ideal solution this curve this is your ideal solution this is also your ideal solution let us come back for the and draw for this also you want to draw this way y axis is always vapor pressure x axis is always mole fraction xa will always be initially 1 xb will be 0 because it still has not vaporized <coughs> here xa will become 0 xb will become 1 done now again make ideal solution curve which is obeying Raoult's law above this will be above this is above and join this line here join this line here now for positive deviation I said the value will be above the ideal uh, uh, solution curve so this is your standard value the value will be above now this is your line the values shown by this but the solutions are above and now this is your line the value shown by it is above let us come back negative now this is your standard ideal solution line this is negative means below this is your line draw try to draw it down this is your line try to draw it down done so this is your positive deviation this is your negative deviation <coughs> because delta h mixing and delta v mixing are not equal to zero if it is equal to zero this should be the curve if it is not equal <laughs> positive values if you are getting positive deviation negative values if you are getting negative deviation curve 